It didn't matter that it was a cold November morning. The air was energized by hundreds of road warriors about to tackle the Manchester Marathon. To bring people from 40 different states and six different countries, this is really what it's all about. Feel good, feel pumped, a little nervous, you know, about 70 different emotions going through. Racer number 209 is Sandy Rowe of Goffstown. I got it, I got it. This is her first marathon. It's just incredible. I never thought I'd even run a 5K, let alone 26.2 miles. A couple of years ago, when she saw family members face health problems, she took up running and lost a staggering 160 pounds. As I had uh, gotten older, I had started to accumulate those health issues as well. And as midlife crisis, I decided to get healthy. Not far away, we found Ray Constantine. He's from Minnesota. A little cold, yeah, but once I get hit mile four, I'm feeling fine. He's on a quest to complete a half marathon in every state. New Hampshire is 45. And I figured, what the heck, I've run three states already. I might as well keep on going. Another seamless start for an event that took months of planning. The people behind this race have become synonymous with road racing in New England. Meet John Mortimer, a former professional runner and founder of Millennium Running. You guys stay right there, stay right there guys, stay. His Bedford company specializes in events just like this. It's soup to nuts. It's everything from laying cones on the road, to picking up trash, to setting up barricades, setting up the finish line that's behind me. Millennium, our company, has been in business since 2011, um, and we own 19 races that we produce of our own. Um, and then we're a part of, from other services and event management things, 126 races a year. That's thousands of runners, hundreds of road closures, medical tents, security, water stations, volunteers. For this race alone, 31 staff members are operating behind the scenes. I can't see if there's any rogue reads in the uh, Dakota right now. One of them is Christian Lizier. He's director of timing. Millennium uses a series of mats loaded with sensors. When a runner's bib goes over the mat, it goes to Christian's computer. He can post live timing updates and do the math for a final result. So we take your GPS time of day when you start and your GPS time of day when you finish and we subtract your start from your finish and the difference is your time. While the race is on, John is out troubleshooting, making sure the course is clear for runners. One of my favorite things about races is when you look down Elm Street and you see thousands of people running. And just the, the, you know, when you get in the, in the middle of the pack and all these people are out there, they're talking to each other, they're running together. But it's, a, it's a shared human experience. Each one of these runners has a story. Meet Marianne Hesseltine of Ohio. Well, this is my 50th half. Is it your 50th half? And my 39th state. Wow. Columbus, Ohio. What made you want to do this one? I had to do New Hampshire, and it looks like a really good one to do. It's a nice day for it. It's a great day for it. I'm uh. loving it. Great day. For many of these runners, it's about finishing, like Sandy Rowe, who was looking strong at the halfway point. At two hours and 29 minutes, the marathon winner, Nick Aguilar, crossed the finish line. It was a personal record. Just went out there and had fun. So, sorry, <laughs> that's what it's about. So, 
and more would follow, checking off another item on their running bucket list. There you go, nice job. Beautiful course, really well marked, awesome volunteers, it's so fun. And it's where we live, so we love to be here. Ray Constantine can check another state off his list. Yeah, it wasn't a bad time, 223, not going to complain. 45 states down, five to go. And what's next? Uh, Philly, next week. Yeah. Then, another life-changing moment for Sandy Rowe. Greeted by high fives from the crowd, she accomplished her goal. Finishing our first marathon ever, Sandy Rowe! It was five hours and 17 minutes Sandy Rowe will never forget. It's just incredible, and the family just all rallies around everyone um, to always do better. So I, I, there's just no way I couldn't miss.